This is an interim analysis, uh, which um, is pool, uh, which pulls data from the UK and from Brazil for the efficacy analysis, giving us our headline figure of 70% protection, which we um, pre-agreed with regulators that this, this approach would be the one that we use. Um, and uh, we also, with our safety database, um, include the UK, Brazil, and South Africa. So we've got a, a larger database for safety, uh, which uh, is really encouraging and shows that there are no safety concerns with vaccines. Uh, the use of the, the half dose was unplanned, uh, but we knew before we started that there was a discrepancy in the different ways in which uh, measurement is undertaken uh, for the concentration of, of the vaccine. And so we took that information to the regulators and we agreed an approach for making the decision about how the phase three trials should be undertaken. And as, uh, so we set off already knowing that there was that discrepancy which we were investigating and we took the safe approach with the regulators, um, which as it turned out and it wasn't planned, resulted in a half dose of the vaccine being given. And once we recognized that, we went back to the regulators, had another discussion with them and they um, agreed with our plan to form a new group who would get two full doses and to maintain that group, which were very interesting, who'd had a half dose and were then going to be given a full dose. And so, although it was unplanned, it's turned out to be you know, a really interesting component to this uh, trial. Um, our data are all published. Uh, we're very confident in the results, but they have to be scrutinized, just like for all the vaccines, by the experts in regulatory science who, who are now all around the world starting to scrutinize the data. And so they'll give an opinion on that um, over the weeks and months ahead. So we'll have, we'll, we'll have that um, stamp of approval, I hope, before too long. The important thing about vaccines is that they get to people and that uh, they're protected. And the only way that we can do that is be, by having multiple vaccines available because there's a lot of people on the planet and we need to get those vaccines out to them as early as possible. So I, I think we have to um, not uh, worry about these individual percentages. The important thing is who's vaccinated, not um, uh, people who are unvaccinated and waiting for a particular product. Personally, I'd be happy with any of these in my arm. One of the, the really important things for us and our, in our mission when we set out was how do we make a vaccine that can be accessible around the world? And part of that that's been critical has been making a partnership with AstraZeneca who, and I think it is pretty astonishing that a big pharmaceutical company shared that vision, a not-for-profit vision, to make sure that the, the world could have access um, to a vaccine. And we're now uh, very close to that. Obviously, we, we st still wait for the regulators to scrutinize the data, but manufacturing is, is happening in all corners of the world. And to make sure that if we do have products um, uh, which can be used, that they can then be distributed where they're needed, using fridge temperatures to get them to the most vulnerable people in our in our societies.